This time on IFAF. Idaho Falls and Franks. Did we get FOMO? Because this town empties out around the 4th right. of July. Mysteriously wanders out of the woods. Is that her name is L, by the way? Wait a second, Mike. I gotta, get, I gotta get off the phone. There's a dog by the road and I gotta go save him. You're bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I didn't uh, soften that at all, did I? You didn't. IFAF. Idaho Falls Local. Independent. Alternative Media with Mike Nelson and Carly Morgan. Coming up on this episode, hear me out. Huck to it. <laughs> and saving spaces on the parade route. Oh, by the way, I got some really nice new camp chairs. <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel about that? Also, other 4th of July follow ups because we're just getting back. Yeah, we took a little break and we don't even feel bad one bit, okay? I had some great guac dogs. <laughs> oh, they, those were nice. Yeah. <laughs> When we say Franks, it means two things. Mm -hmm. Also, we'll sort of discuss the uselessness of meteorologists once again. And a mysterious girl is found in the woods late at night. What did it mean? What happened? Find out tonight. This week on, on, on Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> Boy, we take one week off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess by now it's two, but... Hey, make... Yeah, well, yeah, because we missed yeah. a week, and so uh -huh. technically, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, hey, Mike and Carly, you just had your first year anniversary of your show. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, we'll, we'll take a breather for a second. Well, that's the thing. We weren't even planning to. Our, right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. After the 4th of July, we were just kind of like... We made it halfway through an episode and uh -huh. just went... Eh, I'm not really feeling it, are you? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, after, you know, celebrating the anniversary of the show, we were like, you know what? We deserve a little we break. We earned it. <laughs> yeah. Take the rest of the day off. Yeah. What's going on with my microphone there? I might have to. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, just today, mm -hmm. as we record this late on a Saturday night. Right. Um, uh, Trump was shot at. Yes, uh, yeah. Shelley Duvall passed away. Mm -hmm. That was a couple days ago. Oh, and Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons? Which is so sad. But I think that means we might see that Polly Shore biopic. I mean, we probably will. That'd but I kind of cool. feel like that was going to happen anyway. Yeah. And I mean, I know that Richard Simmons wasn't really crazy about that happening anyway. So isn't that sort of pissing on his grave a little? I, I mean, <laughs> technically... <laughs> You know, once you're dead, people can say whatever they want about you. Hence the phrase, right. don't speak ill of the dead. <laughs> right, right. I don't know. They can say what they want about you, but society right. sort of frowns on it and thinks you're a jerk. Right. It's like you could go to Hitler's funeral and be like, yeah, this guy was terrible. And they'd be like, I'm sorry, like, get out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Funny. <laughs> but let's do this. It's 1130 and the club is jumping, jumping. Mm-hmm. Um... I've got this hot new... I'm so excited about this one, by the way. Teton now, tees, when I was a kid, it was the Red Lion. And yes. so I always call it that. You always call call it the West Bank, yeah. which was the original, uh -huh. right? Yep. But it looks so good. And I still love that motel sign with the, um, the big atomic star behind it. Yes. Yeah. You know, it was a really great week for us. I'm so, my mic's not set up right or something, but I'll, I'll get over it. It was a really great week for us on social this time around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had some people. Uh, there were, okay, somebody posted, hey, does anybody know of podcasts that are local? And, right. And two, maybe even three uh -huh. people were like, oh, hey, IFAF, they're fun and funny. You know what? We'll take it. Thank you. Right. That's great. <laughs> I will say when I saw that, I thought to myself, okay, is this like a plant? Like, is right. this someone who has a podcast who's, like, asking so that th their friend can go under and be like, oh, I've heard this podcast is really good. But I didn't see any of that. My bullshit meter, right. I think, is it's pretty, pretty good. finely yeah. tuned. In well, fact, I'm, I'm more cynical. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, this whole Trump incident is, like, they couldn't have planned that better for his campaign. Right. The photo, the, there's a photograph. Mm -hmm. I was going to say a shot. <laughs> Probably should say there's a shot. There's a photograph uh, mm -hmm. taken, you know, from. I assume he's on a stage, right? But from the audience's stand, ear is bleeding, fist in the air, mm -hmm. American flag, and Secret Service agent. Yeah, like it's the most American thing I've seen. Mm -hmm. It's it's 
might be bigger than the Obama Hope poster that Shepard Ferry did. Right, right. And it's just in time for Mm -hmm. him to sort of change from a criminal or a victim, depending on your viewpoint, to... Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's an American image right there. Right. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, I will say something that I thought was kind of funny is that there's already some merch out about it. Um, Specifically, there's a hat that says Bulletproof. The the Hawk to a (laughs) girl's company, Fathead Threads, which is a correction we need to make. Fatheads makes the posters. It's Fathead Threads that are selling the the authorized Hawk to a girl merchandise. I thought that was funny because I was like, wait, what about the other Fatheads? That makes sense. Okay, so um, hat that says bulletproof. But yeah, that says bulletproof. When technically, I think it's been proven he's not bulletproof. Kind of. Maybe bullet resistant. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like like one of those watches that you can That's, wear in a pool but not in the ocean. <laughs> it takes up too much letters. We can't put that on a hat. Right, right. It's not as catchy. <laughs> it's not. That's true. That's fair. But yeah, I mean, and we're, we're joking about it because seriously, the news came out three hours ago. Right. Well, and We know you get this podcast on Monday, but mm-hmm. it does take me a day to edit it. Well, and the other thing that I thought when I first found out about this is that is the number one way to make a martyr like whether you are pro or Mm anti-trump like especially if you're anti anyone like if you assassinate them or something like that you're gonna automatically bolster the other side's campaign yeah um you're right Mm -hmm. and i'm gonna call it right now Mm -hmm. trump's number 47 and despite your politics you know i'm right yeah, probably. Something bi- There's got to be a hell of an October surprise. I mean, here's the thing. He was convicted of a crime and yet is still on the campaign trail and is still the re- Republican nominee. Yeah. Like, he's genuinely just kind of unstoppable. I hope he takes some time to, like, heal up because that seems like yeah. he should. <laughs> and, and, like, this this news is so new, we don't even know if it was his blood. Right. It could have been the blood of somebody else. Somebody died, at right. least one person. Yeah, and I guess. I, I believe it was the gunman. Mm-hmm. But I guess five shots went off before mm-hmm. the Secret Service was able to. Yeah, was able to get him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, wow, just Which, wild. Well, and also, if you're going to attempt an assassination, you better make sure that your aim is spot on. I've already but. seen the missed it by that much <laughs> yeah, right. memes, you know, right, right. like a friend who is probably my most political friend mm-hmm. that I know was like, dude, it's a miracle yeah, that he survived. Mm-hmm. Like, he, like he turned his head at just the right time. I mean, he's already studying the, uh, <laughs> what are the JFK? <laughs> the grassy knoll. Yeah. He's already studying those tapes uh-huh. and... Yeah. Which is a lot easier to do, I suppose, in this day and age. I know, right? Well, so many more cameras, so many more angles. I guarantee there's going to be a, at least a hundred different shots. Sorry, uh, angles of this same incident. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> this sounds so bad. I'm start. so sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. but, but but we have so much to get to because we mm-hmm. skipped a week. And you know what? We earned it. High five. <laughs> yeah, we deserve it. Um, And <laughs> what did we do? I'll tell you what we did. We got a lot of takeout. Yes. <laughs> oh, so much pizza. And apparently we only wanted to watch movies with one sequel. Yes. Yeah. It started with Disenchanted, uh-huh. the sequel to Enchanted, mm-hmm. which I didn't, am I, is this right? There's 15 years between those two movies? Yes. Yeah. It's like quite the gap. Wow. And Amy Adams still looks so good. She's just a beautiful person. You picked one of the ones on my list. Oh, because she's gorgeous. <laughs> she's on my list. <laughs> yeah. She's just, ugh. Yeah. The epitome of a Disney she's princess. She's beautiful. But, yeah. but then we did, I wrote them down. Um, but of course, it's not one that's right in front of me. So Enchanted and Disenchanted. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ace Ventura and When yes. Nature Calls. Uh-huh. And there was one more... Oh, Mamma Mia so, and Mamma Mia yes. too. Oh, that was the best day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was really fun. How that happened? Anyway. I yeah. Don't know. Now, that being said, I did try to start watching The Cure for Wellness. What is it about? It's so, okay. Very quick synopsis with no spoilers. It's about a businessman who goes to a health retreat slash uh, mental wellness retreat to get his boss because otherwise he's going to like get totally boned in the company, more okay. or less. And while he's there, he there is a car accident and he ends up having to stay there. 
At a wellness retreat center. Yes. And things get real weird real quick. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, when people were calling out podcasts and tagging podcasts, uh-huh. I tried to share our friend Emily's. Yes. She's Missing Podcast. Mm-hmm. Because we're almost coming up on Missing Persons Day, aren't we? We are, as a matter of fact. Um, but she doesn't let other people tag her, which is fine. Oh, but yeah. Well, that's and I her totally, choice. Yeah, and I totally get it because I know that she's really, um, she's just trying to stay more or less anonymous. Like okay. she doesn't want it to be a big deal in her life. She just wants to but be a nice voice to listen to, which she definitely is. There's but, another one, I F A F M Fers. <laughs> yeah. to maybe check out yeah right. <laughs> oh jeff and greg you know Always while we're fun. talking they've been they've been doing it for like 15 years mm-hmm. yeah before everybody <laughs> right. now in my defense i did a little podcasting like in 2004 right i just want to say that yeah yeah but, all but right. i mean not 15 years worth of podcasting <laughs> and i'm sorry i'm going to be looking at my notes a lot tonight because we're Two weeks behind yeah, now. Yeah, we're just, I've just a got, little rusty. Yeah, I've just got all this content. So mm-hmm. um, are we still talking about the Hawk Tua girl? Um, I did just realize that we forgot to mention the third celebrity death. Which was? Um, old Sexy Lady. Okay. Oh, Ruth Westheimer. Thank Dr. You. Ruth. <laughs> yes, Dr. Ruth. She was. <laughs> she was. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say she was an old sexy lady. <laughs> right, but but she was an old lady who talked about sex. Right, right. And she was like it was like the first time I remember mm-hmm. watching her, I don't know, is maybe on PBS or something. Oh, I could see that. But I was like, how are we getting away with this? Even as like a <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, it's a fact of life. It's a thing that happens. And- rest in peace and thank you for saying the word vibrator in the 80s because I think that freed <laughs> up a lot of women to have a better life. It probably did. Yeah. You know, that kind of reminds me. So we've been re- re-watching Bridgerton <laughs> uh-huh. lately. Uh, and like the first season, none of the girls know how you conceive a baby. And they're full-grown adult women. Right. And like, uh, you know, we kind of were discussing this as we watched. Like, how exactly did they not even have an inkling of how this happened? But that's the thing. Like, it is so easy. Before to, TV. It's so easy to be sheltered. Yeah. And so, you know, can you imagine... The chick who heard Vibrator for the first time and was like, what's that? It almost seems like a good time to show. (laughs) Oh, our favorite 4th of July. This. (laughs) What was it? Pretty, pretty princess sword or something? Pretty, pretty princess sword. It was our favorite firework that we had. So this is the hilt. Uh Uh-huh. And boy, um, if you turn it the wrong way, (laughs) you might get the wrong idea about what a pretty, pretty princess wants. (laughs) Just saying. Maybe that's intentional. I don't know. Well, to be fair, the boy version of them also had the same hilt. So, uh, but I want to say two things about the hawk. Oh, that's true. Yeah. They did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the princess power sword. Yeah. That's what it was called. And it was very fun. The mighty, I had a really good time waving that thing around. <laughs> mighty Mormon princess ranger. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. In fact, yeah, we, um, we had a, v- Oh, your family's 4th of July plan sort of fizzled. Yeah. So yeah. we decided to go get uh, visit our nearest stand. Mm-hmm. Here they are actually taking down the sign. <laughs> That's how late we were. Yeah, like genuinely right before sunset. And we were like, well, I guess if we're going to do this, we better do it. <laughs> Grabbed a hundred bucks of fireworks. Well, that's the thing too. I literally said, all I want are sparklers. We don't have to yeah. buy anything else. And then you were like, yeah, but give me all the works. <laughs> no, you, I mean, well, okay, right at the stand. Yeah. <laughs> right. I called an audible. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, but yeah, we got the responsible ground dwelling ones, but yeah. they were still a lot of fun. They were really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Where were we? Dr. Ruth Westheimer. <laughs> Weird fireworks handle. Hopping down the bunny oh, trail. Oh, Hawk Tua. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to mention the two things I saw that I thought were Hawk Tua related and hilarious. Okay. Some guy just posted, and I've got a few real sexist friends on my feed. Kirk. You know who you are, <laughs> You're bro. You're going to call him out? Is I, he the only friend on he, your feed named he's, Kirk? He's either... Mm, no, there's probably a few. There's oh, probably, yeah, probably a popular I, I think name I, for yeah. a second because Cam Kirk. I probably know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, two or three Kirks. All right, fair enough. But if you know this town and some of the same people in it that I do, you know damn well who I'm talking to because he's <laughs> either posting completely inappropriate <laughs> shit or he's saying, hey, guys, just got out of Facebook jail again. <laughs> but anyway, he just posted, 
if she don't hawk to a, I don't talk to a. <laughs> I thought that was kind of clever. That's funny. And then a friend of mine made the observation. He was like, so I don't know, hawk to a, whatever. He's like, He's not really a meme follower mm-hmm. or a current events follower even. Right. But he had heard that and he's like, so this is gross. I had to spit up the other day uh-huh. in in front of the sink. I think he got a bad jar of pickles or something. Uh-huh. But he's like, that's exactly the sound you make when you have to spit. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, a, like a really uh, gross, like, uh, well, and that's the thing. It's uh, not because you can get a good, like, like just saliva spit with just the t- you know, uh-huh. if you're doing a don't a make hot, the noise, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're doing that snort, you're getting more than just saliva. Should I do it? Should I make the? <clears throat> oh, okay. I hate it. Right. I hate it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you're making the hawk sound, then you're not just spitting out saliva. You're, you're really probably... <laughs> into it. You're really working something up. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you're basically eating your own bugs, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. super gross. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave that in. I cut it from the last time we talked about this. Speaking of which, I'm I'm not saying I'm a visionary or anything. I'm I really am the furthest thing from it, but I will have to say that I'm starting to see a lot more videos just get chopped quickly like ours do. Mm-hmm. And I think people are finally starting to get it that yeah, even though it looks a little stuttery and mm-hmm. max headroomy, see so right. if you understand that reference. Um it's just the fastest way to get you the content the fastest mm-hmm. without wasting your time. Right, right. I thought I was just being lazy, but mm-hmm. I might be onto something here. No, it just really saying. makes sense. Uh, one last thing about Hawk to a Chick. I had mentioned that I could not figure out what her job was, and it was pissing me off. Right, because there were there were those rumors, preschool teacher, which right. was from a satire website. Right, yeah. Uh, right. Turns out she, she worked at a spring factory. I'm assuming she doesn't anymore, because now she's making money off of her merch, and like... <laughs> Probably making public appearances and stuff, too. What kind of spring? Tua. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying mattress spring? <laughs> I think so. I mean, well, to be fair, springs are used in, like, everything. They probably made all That's kinds true. of different yeah. springs. Yeah. You know? They probably made everything d- from down to, like, those little tiny ballpoint pen she, springs. She's into springs to, like, and the spring kinds, accessories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the kind that you like use Hank in an airplane. and propane. Yeah, yeah right? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wonder what her job was there. Like, was she on the floor making springs or was she like a secretary at the front desk? Or was she just lubricating the springs? Yeah. (laughs) I almost choked on that one, (laughs) but I think we'll just let it go. (laughs) That was really good, though. I saw one other thing that's a little randy this week. Just like that, the expression, hear me out, has completely changed. Right. It kind of has. Have you noticed this? It's no longer... Hear me out. McDonald's actually makes a high quality burger. Right. It means hear me out. I'm going to have sex with a McDonald's burger. (laughs) Right. Yeah. 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 Basically it's, so I guess it's sort of a game Uh where you, and my, my uh, buddy and I actually uh, played this together and it was really good as a matter of fact, cause it got weirder and weirder, dude. (laughs) Um, But like it started at like, um, hear me out. Guillermo from What We Do in the Shadows, he's kind of cute. Absolutely he seems like he'd be agree. a good boyfriend. Yeah. And you you basically get to list all of the nice things about him. Hear you know? me out. <laughs> Rick Moranis in Little Shop of Horrors. Right. Yeah. And then I think. <laughs> the it, nerdy boy. <laughs> oh, I loved him in that. Yeah. Suddenly Seymour. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Um, and then I think it ended somewhere along the line. Hear lines. me out. Steve Martin in Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Uh, but I think our game ended somewhere along the lines of uh, Quasimodo. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who d- came up with that one either. Okay. <laughs> but you are, you're you saying you're making an argument. There are arguments exist mm-hmm. for Quasimodo. Yeah. yeah. You know what? He'd sure be grateful. <laughs> you know, he'd he sure be... <laughs> Really into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Just saying. And you know, I think another nice thing about this new Hear Me Out game is that anytime you are feeling just crappy about yourself, like you are in the pits, you all post, right? Post a selfie of you in your sweats going, Hear me out. <laughs> well, no, I'm like just the saying. The worst photo of yourself well, you can no, possibly if you're pl- If you've ever played the game, though, you can be like, Okay. I am just a piece of garbage person and I look bad, but so-and-so said that they would 
do so and so, and I'm better than that person. So yeah. 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 Hey, even without <laughs> no makeup, I'm mm-hmm. still a seven. Yeah. And yeah. you know, if someone would make the argument for Quasimodo, I'm fine. You know what? <laughs> that sort of thing. This is my favorite kind of episode because we're just all over the. Place. <laughs> I love the bunny trails. I love the rabbit holes. So we're just going to go with it at this point. Yeah, hey, why not? Facebook said we're fun and funny. <laughs> I think, I mean, but I think the reason we are is because we have fun. But there's a friend, a mutual friend of ours, mm-hmm. who is that I love dearly. Oh, I love him so much. Okay, you know where I'm going with I this. Do. <laughs> Whenever he, oh, we had a commitment on a Saturday night, and he's like, I just can't make it. I'm sorry. I'm trash. Mm -hmm. And then he spends, after he says I'm trash, he spends like 20 lines Uh explaining why and how terrible he is and how he's ironing his hands like Dobby the house elf Yes, (laughs) in in Harry Potter. He's throwing himself in the garbage, much uh, much like Forky. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, when Forky in Toy Story 4, right? Uh He didn't come along till 4? Yeah. But he goes... I'm trash and his crazy googly eye. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of that every time. I know, right? Yeah. Now, it's funny. That being said, the the funny thing about this friend is that he does the opposite anytime he's talking to anyone else. Like it, when he's addressing you, he doesn't address you as, hey, what's up, Mike? It's, hey, Mike of perfection. How are you, you oh, yeah. sweet, special little boy? I love you so much. You're so great. He will do paragraphs. Yes. Like one time, um, your friend. Uh-huh. Uh, put me on the phone with him uh-huh. and he went off for three minutes. Yes. Yes. Just, I, he's a magician with patter. I have never like, okay. We'll I've get him never, on the show one day. I've never been complimented. Just so we're not wasting your time. I've never been complimented so much that it actually felt like a shower of compliments until him. Yeah. It's like a sweet summer rain he's of compliments. A, he is a whole bouquet of roses. Yeah. This I guy. So much. Yeah. He might be the best person I've ever met in my life. We're, we actually tried to get him as not a guest on this show, but a producer. Yeah. And that might still happen. I don't know. That's yeah, one of the commitments. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't really talked about the 4th of July. Right. I thought we did something kind of fun. Mm-hmm. We got to the parade route right at nine, uh-huh. right before the action was supposed to start mm-hmm. and worked our way through it backwards. Yeah, and so, that part was pretty cool. You know, we love our town, and 4th of July, man, mm-hmm. we serve it up. Right. We really do. We do. Oh, the same guy who posts offensive things on Facebook posted something kind of touching, I thought. Oh, really? It was just an image of an old headshot of Frank Vandersloot that he probably wants to get taken off of the internet. <laughs> Not because it's bad, mm-hmm. but because it's, like, old and outdated. Okay. Now, who knows? Maybe it's still on his own personal website or Melaleuca's website. I mean, there are lots of men who use really old pictures of themselves in places they shouldn't be using really old pictures of themselves. Talking to you, real estate agents. <laughs> Seriously, uh, if somebody is shocked by your current appearance because your marketing photo is so old, you're kind of doing it wrong. Mm-hmm. Also talking to you guys on dating apps. Yeah. Okay, you if know you're what? 43, you should not have a high school pick on there. 40-year-old dudes or... However old you are, 40, 50, <laughs> anything above 35, right. don't hold your phone down like this to take yes. a picture. Your flattering angle is up here. At least have it at don't eye just level. Be, when I open every morning, I open my phone to do an Instagram post and its default is looking up at me. Or is yes. that TikTok? It's one of them. Yeah, right. It's one of them. And I look like death. <laughs> Warmed over. Right. I don't get why people choose that angle ever. Ever. You know? Like the dad. Okay. Here's something funny. My dad's Venmo picture is literally like, I think it's taken in like Costco, which (laughs) is the most dad thing ever. But it's like a picture from right about here of him looking down at his phone, taking a picture with the Costco ceiling behind him. When Facebook, it's like what I would have seen had I been sitting in sitting in his cart like a little kid, <laughs> you know. <laughs> when Facebook created the option to just knock one right out, knock out a profile pic right then and there, right? I'm thinking, who are you, crazy people? <laughs> it's so funny because dads always like Facebook dads take them down here, and Facebook moms take them up here. Yes, you know, like and they're like. The in, like the appropriate You're not angle fooling is somewhere anybody, in between lady. there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, when you have to hold the phone up and I can see your feet. 
Right. Then um, yeah. you're either trying to accent something that is unnecessary mm-hmm. or uh, hide something that is unnecessary. Yeah. Just do this. Just mm-hmm. in here is acceptable. This, we know you're catfishing somebody. Right. People will will respect you less. That's a terrible thing to say, but here's the thing: people will respect you less if you look vastly different in real life versus on the internet. Right, and that's why I think there's going to be such a pushback mm-hmm. um, because of AI. Mm-hmm. You know, people are going to get so sick of seeing fake stuff, right? That they're going to actually start to value that that uh, hashtag no filter. From mm-hmm. Instagram 15 years ago is going to make back. a hell of a comeback. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyway, Kirk <laughs> posted this picture <laughs> saying, Frank's for the fireworks. That's funny. And it was a I picture like of that. Frank. Mm-hmm. Because you know, you know, it's no secret that he mm-hmm. is the benevolent benefactor in our community. Right. He does the thing at Christmas. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he supplements or subsidizes mm-hmm. our fireworks. So we can have one that is vastly incommensurate with mm-hmm. the size of our town. Yes. Um, now, this year, oh, and by the way, I heard you guys still using my music bet on that, and that's fine. If you're <laughs> wondering about the music that's ramping up before the fireworks, it's a beautiful piece by Philip Shepard composed mm-hmm. for the documentary In the Shadow of the Moon. Ooh. Cool. Called Reentry, which mm-hmm. I would highly recommend. But that was the music playing, in case you're an instrumental freak like I am. But he took that opportunity to talk about the water curtailment thing that's going on. Oh, wait. Okay. Remind me of this. I don't know. Okay. Here's the thing. I've looked at it and gone, too smart for me. Oh, I should probably read through every that. Every time. But it's something affecting farmers. I'll read through it and explain it to you, And maybe. it sounds like a bonehead <laughs> move that Brad Little did or tried to pull or mm-hmm. something, or maybe he was just lip servicing before heading into a political, you know, a right. po- politically charged meeting. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But Frank took, I don't know, I tuned out after two minutes, three. Um, but it's political stuff. Mm-hmm. And he wants you to email Brad Little and tell him what a bonehead he is for doing this thing. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, Frank's not wrong. Right. He's right. This mm-hmm. really could have affected us. And I think maybe in the, I always get it mixed up. What's the magic Valley? What's the treasure Valley? I think Boise is, you know, I should know. I'm putting you on the spot. Right. And why don't we have a cute name for ours? <gasps> right. We're the snake river Valley. Yeah. That's not cute. It's not treasure or magical. <laughs> I mean, I like little, little snakes, little snakes thing. And Frank, that's why you are sincerely I F A F this week. Chris pie five. <laughs> 21 finger gun, military style salute, (laughs) airplanes flying overhead, (laughs) red, white, and blue. Nailed it again. (laughs) And chef's kiss. Oh, chef's kiss. To you. (laughs) I was waiting for you to do your part. (laughs) (laughs) And Frank's for the fireworks. Because seriously, really cool that we can have this in our community every year. Absolutely. And when will politicians just let the experts... Deal with the thing. Just shut the hell up. You know, and, like, yeah. <laughs> like, dude, if you don't know how that's going to affect the environment and stuff, like, I get that at some point someone has to be the dividing line. That's if, why the first thing I said was, cons, I don't know. But, like, come on. I don't man. even know what water curtailment is, but something about 500,000 acres of farmers, farming land not getting their thing. <sighs> yeah, but that's we just should, in, here in Idaho, we should have all the water. We should have all, yeah. All of it. Because we've got all the farmers. We got the Tetons, you know, Mm -hmm. one click that way Mm -hmm. or 90, however you want to measure it. Yeah. But. Yeah, we've got a whole ass river running through here. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe you've heard of it. (laughs) That's as political as we're going to get. Yeah. We're going to admit we don't know. As somebody who's just reviewing the news, I'm like, that sounds way out of my league is what it sounds. Yeah. Well, you know, and honestly, like. I care so much about so many things all the time that sometimes if I have no power to control it and if I can have no effect on it, I have to just not care because I, I got no more cares to give. You can't <laughs> hug every kitty. I know. And you tell You're me that all the time. You're going to drive yourself crazy. I mean, okay. Like the other day when I was driving home from the radio station, I was on the phone with you because it was spooky and late at night. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a second, Mike, I got to get, I got to get off the phone. There's a dog by the road and I got to go save him. 
I could not. I couldn't find him. So I did for a second. He looked like a little like white chihuahua mix guy. And um, he kind of went like running back into this like construction area over a fence. Well, he went under a fence, but I would have had to go over. And he like clearly did not want to come to me, even though I was doing my like really good white woman voice. Like, come here, baby. It's okay. You want trees? The songs we sang uh-huh, yes. the other day. I thought of one. Oh, did you? But I haven't worked it out. Okay. I haven't workshopped it at all. I love it. Hear me out. The Rango Connection. (gasps) (laughs) Someday we'll find it. The Rango (laughs) Connection. To his little dumb brain. Chihuahuas, the mamas, and me. That's cute. I I like that. I will workshop that for you. (laughs) Okay. The Rango Connection. Yeah. Next time I'm, I'm talking to him and I need a little song to sing. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, moving on. And um, I just want to mention before we do, please subscribe on YouTube. We need you. And thank you. Do you want to talk about the shooting downtown? Yes, I do. Yeah. We were having a really nice. uh, Saturday night. Yeah. It was Matt Hill Mm -hmm. and his wife, Colette. Colette. Mm -hmm. And super uh, cool. Yeah, we had dinner, and then I think we headed uh, to 18 mm-hmm. for some apps. I just love that new building there. Oh, what yeah. What they've done with 18 and the snake bite. It's so pretty. But walked out, and cops everywhere. Right. Holy IFPD. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like walking been... in the middle of the intersection of, I think it's A and Shoop. Yeah. No, A and Park. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, great job, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, also, sorry to the two officers that we passed in the alleyway mm-hmm. and said, can we go this way? And he's like, I wouldn't go anywhere. I'd go home if I were you. Right. But we were on our way to get some pie hole. And I, I, <laughs> I genuinely turned to the cop and I was like, I totally get that. And I don't disagree with you. But man, I really want some pizza, so we're gonna get that real quick, and then we'll go straight home. <laughs> How's that for an endorsement? <laughs> well, but also come to the pie hall. It's worth maybe getting shot. <laughs> right, right. Priorities, babe. <laughs> Try the drunken princess. <laughs> oh, I love the drunken princess. That one's good. Wait, it's drunk candy. I like the pretty, pretty princess, oh, right. which is the meat one. Okay, right. Yeah. Oh, so I was gonna hold this up again, but that's, that's funny. an extremely <laughs> yeah. inappropriate joke, and um, I won't make it. What was the other? Oh, the, oh, we saw our first guy yeah. in public who recognized us. Yeah, which was weird, and I liked it a lot. <laughs> His name is Trip. Uh huh. I just remember that because the minute he said that, I was like, "Trip odometer, trip odometer." Yeah. Okay, his name is Trip. Yeah, I think you even said, "Oh yeah, like a trip odometer," and he's like, <laughs> "Well, I've never heard that one before, but yeah." <laughs> How? How have you never heard that, Trip? Yeah, I maybe wouldn't... have a nice fall is your last name, but <laughs> I mean. I feel like more people would go for that lower hanging fruit of like, oh, like falling over instead of like trip odometer. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, I, <laughs> Plus, I, okay. I said it every time I refill my tank. See, and that's the difference. Okay. <laughs> how can you not? I don't. You got to know how much you get no. per tank. First off. I'm about 350. My car tells about me. About 350. <laughs> my car tells me. Oh, yeah. And I exclusively only fill my car up when it is past empty. <laughs> right. So I always know how long it takes and how much it costs because I go from <laughs> empty to full and then I don't do it again until it's back to empty. <laughs> but anyway, Trip, if you're I'm listening. Very responsible. <laughs> thanks so much. He was well, so he friendly was the... and enthusiastic. Uh-huh. We asked him, like, I was like, hey, buddy. And he was like, no, I'm the DD tonight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But he was a super nice guy. Sober and AF. Honestly, dude, I just couldn't believe that he like gave a, enough of a shit about us to be like, hey, you guys do the thing. Right. You know, like yeah. I actually. I'm once... saying it was a good <laughs> week for our numbers and shit last yeah. week. Like I actually, once... <laughs> And I was like, this is great. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Which, <laughs> you, know? Uh, you know what? We needed that break. Although we have we agreed have boss. <laughs> to make a post when that happens. Yeah. A quick 30 second clip going, Mm -hmm. we're off this week. Have a great one. Yeah. We weren't really thinking about it when we took the time off because we were intending to do something. Oh, yeah. Um, But then, you know. But then, I don't know. Did we get FOMO? Because this town empties out around the 4th of July. Sometimes before, Mm -hmm. sometimes after. Yeah. Depending on the timing. Mm -hmm. I did say in the Scrapped show last week, the... I think the best night to have the 4th of July Mm -hmm. is on a Thursday. Probably. 4th of July is sort of like Halloween. Hear me out. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> That's going to be the title of this show. Um, in that the the main activity, the main event happens at night. Yeah, right. So if you're going to be engaged that night, mm-hmm. you're probably going to take the rest of the day off tomorrow. No one's yeah. going to give you shit for not coming in on July 5th. Well, and also, I'm sorry, but is there anything more American yeah. than having a few beers, lining off some fireworks, maybe blowing off a finger or two? If they are, they're probably <laughs> the same kind of people who would ask you your previous salary in a job interview. <laughs> anyway, real quick, want to take care of our sponsors, the biggest one being us, your realtors, Mike Nelson and Carly mm-hmm. Morgan, brokered by Keller Williams Realty East Idaho. Mm-hmm. Also, the best steak on the planet, and since you're Idahoan, you ought to take advantage of them. Right. Uh, even though they ship to like six states, including Idaho. Mm-hmm. Virgin Riverland and Cattle Company, find them on Facebook. Much better than the meat tents. D- <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to that, shall we? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> DIY Wedding and Event Rentals. Mm-hmm. You can search them also on Facebook. And our friends at Elsie's Closet, a brand new consignment store that's for women, by women. Mm-hmm. It's curated upscale resale. So just uh, drop our name to say 15%. Boy, did I stir up some shit. Oh, did you? Yeah. So the city of Idaho Falls specifically, explicitly states, Mm -hmm. don't be saving a spot on the parade route. Right. On 4th Street (laughs) or on Boulevard Mm -hmm. before 6 a.m. on July 4th. Right. It's like on the website, right? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. At 6 p.m., and they kind of make a big deal out of it. Right. At 6 p.m. on July 3rd, blankets, Mm -hmm. camp chairs, really nice, expensive-looking ones. Right. That's the thing I don't get. Like, the risk involved. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And not we're not talking about somebody's lawn who lives on 4th Street or Boulevard. Right. Right. We're talking about, obviously, public property. Mm -hmm. And this brought up another debate. Mm -hmm. Um, People were putting, you know, tape caution tape i don't know what you call it right tag tape like stakes on the ground with like string through it right Mm -hmm. on parking strips i think that's what they're called you got a street Mm -hmm. you got a parking strip with grass and lawn typically that's where the mailboxes are right then a sidewalk then your own personal lawn Mm -hmm. as far as i know the rule is the parking strip and the sidewalks are city property, mm-hmm. but you as a property owner have to maintain them. Yes. Mm-hmm. So because they're city property, you probably shouldn't be putting your stuff there either. No, exactly. So I posted a picture. Mm-hmm. You took it. I did. With your phone. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, send that to me. I want to see some smart ass shit on the <laughs> internet. Can you imagine some like rando out of towner driving through Idaho Falls on the third and just being like, God, these people must must have a horrible homelessness <laughs> yeah. problem. What's going on in Idaho oh. Falls? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yes, because it did. It looked like a tent city springing up. It did a little bit. <clears throat> it's freaky. So I just posted what I thought was sort of a tongue-in-cheek, hey, guys, mm-hmm. free blankets, camp chairs, and even tents uh, mm-hmm. until 6 a.m. Because mm-hmm. the people there weren't honoring the city rules. Right. The people who had done that. So this is mm-hmm. a this is a perfect am I the asshole? Right. You know, there's something that um Cuz I don't think I am. So I think I've mentioned that I help out with some kids, right? And the thing that I constantly say to them is, well, you know, just because someone else is doing the wrong thing doesn't mean we're allowed to. So for example, uh I think one day we were trying to like I don't know, go to like a splash pad or something and people were cutting across a certain way that they weren't supposed to go. And they were like, let's just go that way. And I was like, hey, guys, no, that's, the rule is this. Yeah, that's a and really good thing to teach right. children, I, I think. I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. But I kind of thought about wanting to take it a step further, and maybe we will next year. Yeah. <laughs> you are putting blankets mm-hmm. and camp chairs and tents on city property. So what's to stop us from posting, I don't know, every 10 feet along the parade route? Mm-hmm. Um, signs that say, free, take one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we're all breaking the rules. If we're all breaking, see, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Right. And you know what? It's not fair to the people who follow the rules and who get there early and who do the right thing. Right. You know, like, why but do the heathens, you know what? The people that wake up at four. 
Yeah. To be out the door by five. Mm -hmm. To be there at 530. Right. To claim a spot that are following the rules. They deserve to at least take your stuff and, I don't know, play the, uh, you ever done the swapping game? What was it called? When I was in high school, I never did it. But Bigger and better? But no, somebody, no, I know that one. Okay. But somebody, um, they, and it, it may have just been a theory. Okay. Maybe like a friend of a friend, right, urban right. legend mm-hmm. did it. But they're like, yeah, we went replacing one night. We would drive up and down streets. Uh-huh. And if we saw a sprinkler, we'd sneak up and <gasps> unattach it. Uh-huh. And then we'd... Put something like random on there. Like, yeah, um, put a different. They'd go swapping sprinklers or go okay. harmless fun, but still <laughs> kind of devilish. <laughs> kind of devilish. And kind of creative. Yeah. Can you imagine just walking out mm-hmm. to your lawn sprinkler one day and instead of a yellow one, it's a green one? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> like it still functions fine, so you <laughs> right. don't have to replace like, what it. What the hell, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, it'd be real sad if it was like a really sentimental lawn sprinkler, though. <laughs> that your grandma made for you. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah. like grandma used to make. Yeah, she smelted it herself. Well, you probably shouldn't <laughs> be putting grandma's quilts on city property right. overnight. Yeah. You assholes. <laughs> right. Let the nice guys way, finish first. If you are one of those people, I'm just giving you shit. Right. I don't really mean it. I mean, we didn't touch your stuff. Uh, Clearly, didn't touch we your didn't stuff, mean it. Didn't pound any signs saying free mm-hmm. take one, but I sure thought about it. Mm-hmm. Well, and apparently Facebook AI agrees with you. They did kind of. And <laughs> that's the most annoying new feature on the internet. <laughs> right. But, yeah. it, but those summaries that it mm-hmm. gives when there's a lot of comments, they have some value. There have been a couple of times when that saved me a lot of scrolling. Yeah. Uh, we should mention, I forgot about this. As a longtime Idahoan who heard this fact probably in fourth grade mm-hmm. when I had to do the book. Do they still do that? Like an Idaho book, you have to make a book about Idaho. Oh, I think state I had to birds, do that. State birds, state horse, state... Oh, I definitely did that. Opals, something. Yeah, anyway, uh-huh. I forgot Idaho was admitted to the Union on July 3rd, 1890 mm-hmm. as the 43rd state. So yeah. it's just sort of our birthday weekend. Right. Idaho, <laughs> the USA, and IFAF. Mm-hmm. Lots of birthdays. <laughs> Yeah, I anyway. also got a cousin on the fifth, <laughs> and so we did. We did celebrate with the uh, guac dogs. Yes, and oh, that was the best though. They were pretty they damn were good. So good. Just a Nathan's famous hot dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was it who did the buns? Grandma. Oh you know yeah, I love my like grandma. Mm-hmm. What's her face? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Sycamore. Right. Yes, Grandma yeah. Sycamore. Mm-hmm. Nathan's famous. Some sweet guac and uh-huh. some bacon bits. I think the only thing that it would have made it better is fresh bacon that ran the length of the hot dog. That would have been better. And not a tomatilla-based guacamole. It's all the okay. store had. Okay. But That's next time, yeah. Yeah, maybe next time we'll make our own. Try yourself a guac dog. Yeah, that was so good. I remember Here at one the month point, of July. I like it was too big for my mouth, so I was just like cramming it in my hole. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> I was genuinely just like, wow. cramming it in my gob because it was so good and like bits were falling out. It, like I think I was eating like a toddler who had smashed his, it like had their first cake smash. Just yeah, just dripping down my face. I didn't give a. You're really selling it. Yeah, now I want it was another really one. Good. <laughs> yeah. And I liked that the hot dogs stuck out a little extra at both ends. Oh yeah. Too. Yeah, you gotta get the jumbo Nathan's yeah. famous. They have a couple sizes like regular mm-hmm. and bun length. Get the jumbo yes. Nathan's famous. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. You know, I think honestly, next time we make one, I'm gonna just like go straight for the middle. And what's more a man? <laughs> just, why not? Like, just go full feral. I, I okay, would just, like, dig person. my claws yeah. in and just, like. And then, <laughs> and then you'll have two. Yeah, right. You'll have two going I can on. double fist it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, it would be worse if there was actually a video of me <laughs> eating it. It which, would be. <laughs> you know, with, with AI. Two things I want to talk about. <clears throat> One. I know they do music for the uh, Idaho Falls fireworks. Right. And they do a great job most of the time. Having been behind the scenes, I have my own opinions. (laughs) You draw your own conclusions. That's fine. But wouldn't it be cool if just once Frank's for the fireworks 
but just once you did the Team America theme song. Okay, that'd be fun. Even if you just started with America, America, deal. Cut. Yeah. Actually, that's a great idea. You're welcome for that idea. Also, <laughs> check out this drone footage. This Which is also, the kind... I've never seen that show. The one with the puppets, right? Oh, it's great. Yeah. You know, maybe we'll have to watch that. Does it have a sequel? Just no. one? <laughs> yeah, just one. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. But check out this footage of uh, drone firework, not replacements necessarily, but uh, supplements. Yeah. That's cool. That's super cool. That American Eagle and the, and I guess that they had drones that shot fire to make it look like wings. Pretty oh, cool. That's amazing. That's yeah. <laughs> that's the kind of drone stuff I'm talking about when right. I say we ought to use or supplement at least mm -hmm. our show with drones. Right. Okay. Well, and you know all the cartoons where like the fireworks will like spell out a picture or like some they'll say yeah. a word or something. Where like, the hell are those? Yeah, like we don't we don't have the technology. Get creative. For that. Use them both in tandem. Exactly. But if we use drones, yeah. If drones. if a big <laughs> red, white, and blue explosion goes right? up and it says USA and the drones behind it are going USA, right? I would shit myself and die. <laughs> I know. To use cool. an eighties expression, <laughs> it'd be cool. Yeah. yeah, also gross me out the door. <laughs> Gag me with a spoon. But here's a perfect example of something that's on topic, but completely random. Right. Um, I heard an ad for not the Idaho Falls fireworks. I think the Ammon fireworks. Okay. And the line was with an aerial display. But I'm sorry. Whoever pronounced it was just a little bit off, I think. Uh-huh. And it sounded, at least at low volume, uh -huh. it sounded with venereal display. <laughs> Every Woof. single time I heard it, I was like, that's the last thing I want to see. <laughs> but it reminded me. The last thing, Mike? <laughs> on me. <laughs> <laughs> but it reminded me mm. of some old ads for a car dealership in Rigby. Oh, really? Yeah. And their slogan or their tagline or their ending outro thing they said mm -hmm. was under the giant American flag in Rigby. Right. But if your announcer is too lazy to say under the giant American flag in Rigby and makes it sound like under vagina American flag in Rigby. Right. <laughs> you should probably change announcers. Yep. And I'm also going to say that, no offense, for the ultimate and intimate if you can't say that for the all and intimate. Right. Well, and to be fair, that's kind of a hard one. It is. I mean, on so paper. So maybe change your tagline. Well, but that's the thing. <laughs> on paper, it's a great tagline. You know, it yeah. sucks to have to get rid of it because people yeah. can't. Because uh, mm, I can't enunciate either. Because people can't enunciate. Well, we're both. Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. both not. We're semi-pro tonight. You know, that's the thing. I was really dehydrated <laughs> earlier because I was out in that heat at the farmer's market. And I think Oh, yeah. I, you you went nuts, though. I did a little. I did. Yeah. Did you and get your quail eggs? I did, as a matter of fact. You made yeah. some duck eggs or quail <gasps> eggs or duck eggs. both? Yeah. The other I did, day? Yeah, I made you Ugh. some duck eggs and some quail eggs. They were nice, huh? They really were. I know. And those duck eggs are so good. I actually ended up stopping into my friend's shop, Elsie's Closet, and uh, I actually left her one of my things of duck eggs because she'd never tried them. Oh, and I was like, you need them, babe. I bet. Well, she loves yeah. to start her, her day with a couple of eggies. Huh. So I think she'll dig it. Oh, okay. I'm hoping that this video will come out okay because I shot it sort of in a hurry. Mm -hmm. But- I'm just going to double down on my anti-meteorologist kick. And all I want to know is, Mike, who hurt you? <laughs> just kidding. Useless information <laughs> packaged as if it's valuable. That's right. who hurt me. <laughs> hey, coming up in five minutes, we'll take a look at the weather. Just think of all of the great weatherman outtakes we wouldn't have were it not for those brave men and women <laughs> yeah. willing to do right. that job. They, they are sort of there for comic relief, yeah. sort of like the sports guy, and I get that. Right, right. But I just want to show you, have you played with your weather app? And this is just for iPhone users, things you might not have played with. Okay, obviously, you open it up and you see what the current temperature is. You know you can scroll all the way to the end of a 24-hour cycle and see what the temp will be hour by hour. Mm-hmm. Not just temp, temp and condition. Did you also know 
that uh, it'll give you the next 10 days. Probably you did because you have eyes. Did you also know that if you keep going, there's like phases of the moon? Yeah. And if you're a fan of full moons, Mm -hmm. you can just go to, oh, that's the night. Great. Right. Which also, did you see that one that looked just like an orange slice the other day? Yeah. Yeah. That one was incredible. We've got some great ones Mm -hmm. in the summer here. Did you also know uh, you can check out precipitation, in our case, none. Temperature, mm-hmm. hot as balls. Yeah. Air quality, fine. Yeah, the only precipitation is the sweat on my upper lip. And when? <laughs> it should be self-evident at this point. Right. Next on the weather, check your phone. But, <laughs> yeah, coming up in five minutes, we'll have a five-minute segment telling me all the information I can get in, I don't know, 10 seconds total. Mm-hmm. Right. Is pretty useless. Mm-hmm. It's the information age. Get with it. And also, local TV, I got to call you out on your production. It's bad. It's right. so bad. When podcasters a in their own basement. Kid, yeah. We can make a better looking video than you can with two webcams and an iPhone. Right. That's bad. That's bad. I'm just saying, you're bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I didn't uh, soften that at all, did you I? You didn't. They probably have an AV guy who's been there for years and years and years. And he's been working with the same technology the entire time, obviously with some of the updated bits right. too. Right, when Avid right? first came out and it right. was a big thing. Yeah. And so here's the thing. You are going to have to, a year before his retirement, of course, fire him. Uh, and then replace him with a 15-year-old kid at with a Christmas. YouTube channel at Christmas. Fire him a mm-hmm. year before his retirement at Christmas. Mm-hmm. Like, right before he's vested. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but in all seriousness, <laughs> it used to be you were only in competition with the other local guy right. across town. Mm-hmm. Now you're in competition globally. Mm-hmm. So why the local TV stations haven't stepped up their video Lighting, their studio, it's beyond me. I've I don't get it, and I'm obviously beside myself. I've even heard that their anchors have to do their own makeup. Yeah. You're telling me that you can't get someone's 16-year-old niece who's really into makeup to do that job for like 10 bucks an hour? I, I almost wonder if we're watching the <laughs> slow decline of a medium. I mean, I mean at, at least DeFranco. on a small market level. Yeah, right. Yeah, Philip DeFranco's mm-hmm. stuff can look better. You but know, I mean, realistically, I remember like watching most, that guy right. in like 2008, and oh, I was like, "Same." This is like a 20 year old sitting behind a desk mm-hmm. of his own creation, mm-hmm. and then 15 years, yeah, when I met like you, mm-hmm. your friend was saying, "Who's that news guy on YouTube?" Right, and you're like, "Oh, Philip DeFranco." Yeah, yeah. Team PDS, baby. Mm-hmm. We think you're great. But yeah, point is. Um, even with the local news stuff, a lot of it comes from the whole national news, like right. uh, packets that right. they put together, you know? How so, much actual local news do we have right. that's not just a CNN feed? Yeah, I mean, realistically, I almost feel like all you need is Philip DeFranco and IFAF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah. And I think that's why we should end our show on this weird story. Yes. Can we talk about that? So I don't even know the facts. Valley of the Chapel, Pines of the Valley of the Chapel of the... Valley of the Clouds is sanatorium. Yes. Yes. Okay. So in 2019, five years ago, Mm -hmm. here's how I understand the story, Mm -hmm. Uh, which by the way, I'm a skimmer. So I might have missed some very important details, Mm -hmm. but this is our true crime segment of the show. Right. Um, A, think, 17, 18, 19-year-old girl Mm -hmm. was hanging out with some scouts. So I assume Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. Well, no. um, (laughs) She she wandered into a Boy Scout camp. One of the counselors happened to be a woman. Oh, is that what it was? Because that's a normal thing that happens. Okay. But yeah. Wait, really? Yes. Women counselors at Boy Scout camps? Constantly. I'm sorry. Have you never heard of a den mother? I guess I thought it was all, you know, farting and making (laughs) pee jokes. No, 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 no. Also, like... (laughs) I was in Scouts for a minute. Sure, sure. But I mean, like, let's be honest, too. Like, you got to make sure that there are women around to keep those boys in check, both the men and the kids. All right, you're right. You know, you get enough dudes together in one group and the 
collective IQ just drops. <laughs> okay. All right. First of all, brilliant. Don't disagree. Okay. So, um, a girl about mm-hmm. the age of 14, 16 or 15, 17. Yeah. Um, wandered into this scout camp mm-hmm. and was met by a girl about the age of 17, 18, 19. Okay. And this girl, 14 or 15, was confused, mm-hmm. disoriented, wasn't sure where she had come from, said she had come from the woods. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, quite the mystery. And now that it's been posted on Facebook, local people who are seeing it in their local group are replying, Oh, I know that girl. I'm her aunt. Right. And stuff like that. And she's fine. Mm -hmm. And she is a little Mm nonverbal, which is why that probably added to the mystery of Mm -hmm. where the hell did this chick come from? Right. Right. But come to find out the Valley of the Chapel of the Pines. (laughs) What is it? The Valley of the Clouds Sanatorium. Okay. Yeah. Come to find out that was a joke name. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just a random ranch that this guy owns and lives on. But he was making a joke that it's like, uh, you know, it's sort of like a, a mental wellness a, pl- a mental yes, wellness retreat. A place to regain your mental yeah, health. Yeah. It's Which, so calm and inviting that it's like it's like where they'd set up a, sana- a yeah. sanatorium. Yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, I've always heard sanitarium. Right. But apparently sanatorium, best I can tell after Mm -hmm. hitting Webster's and Wikipedia a couple times, sanatorium and sanitarium are interchangeable. Yes. Now, here's something funny. And both sort of outdated. Yeah. So here's something funny. I grew up watching a ton of Ghost Hunters. I loved that show. It was was like mine and my mom's thing. Uh, But they actually, I remember one episode they explained, or maybe my mom explained it to me. I don't remember, but I remember that it had to do with ghost hunters because they'd always go into sanitariums and sanatoriums. And I was like, what's the difference between the two? According to everything we did tonight, no difference. I thought that was a thing for so long and I was incorrect. But what a compelling story, especially heading into, you know, the next big holiday after July 4th. They already have decorations (laughs) out. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I almost don't want to talk. But what a thing to hit. I mean, what a compelling story just... Mm-hmm. Like a girl, yeah, mysteriously wanders out Said of the woods. Her name is L, by the way. Yeah, Stranger Things vibes. Yeah. What was like? Doesn't want to talk too much. Looks a little shifty and scared and freaked out by people. Yeah, I mean, in I'm the middle just of saying. the night, into the woods, and mm-hmm. doesn't know where she came from. Like maybe prep for some demogorgons, guys. It do- <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. When you read all the facts, it doesn't sound like that much of a compelling story. But, right. you know, somebody could... St- I mean, they I made mean, a movie about cocaine bear. Right. That's the start of a creepypasta at the very least. Yeah. One thing I wanted to talk about, though, since you did mention it, and Halloween is the next big holiday. <laughs> so I've been into a couple of craft stores lately. Don't ask why. It doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but um, they put out some of their decorations already. And I particularly, and I shouldn't even tell this because I don't want them all to get bought up, but I love the ones at Michael's because they're so funky. They're like six, they're kind of like 60s, 70s. They're like all orange and pink and black. And like, they're just like. Ooh, orange and pink and black. Yeah, they're groovy, dude. Like they, they look so good. And I kind of, it's really hard for me to not want to go in and buy them because all of my old Halloween stuff matched my old living room. And now it doesn't match this living room. So I don't have a lot of good Halloween <laughs> oh, stuff. Oh, I understand. Oh, but like, what a problem. Well, you know what? Listen, to get all the good stuff before <laughs> Halloween, it's expensive. And usually I'm the kind of girly who waits till after the season to buy the stuff. You know, I just saw it was the anniversary of Dior Coons. Who went missing? Speaking of yeah. mysteries in Idaho. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's thank like, goodness this one at least got solved. Yeah. yeah. He's like, that is just the John Bonet Ramsey of Idaho Falls, I think. It is. It just is. It's bizarre. Here's you may the thing. never know the truth, and it's sad. It you makes know, me sad. That's the thing, though. All this stuff always comes to light. Yeah. It can only stay buried for so long every time. Yeah. You know, and that's what they always think. But I mean, uh, like Jack the Ripper, we have a pretty good idea of who it probably is. You're right. You I know. Yeah, I read. Um, it was probably 20 years ago. 75 year old mystery solved, and I was right. like, Oh shit! Half the people who care about this are dead. Right. That's not fair. <laughs> well, but you, you know, know but, I think, but that's the thing too. S- stories like this gain traction. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that one is a really interesting case that I think is super worth looking into. 
Um, and I think another time for a plug for our buddy Emily at the She's Missing podcast. Yes. Look into that if you're into true crime mm-hmm. related to us right here directly in East Idaho. Yeah, she talks about local true crime, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Hey, by the way, um, in case you didn't notice, the Paranormal Circus and that big bouncy house thing uh, have been at the Grand Teton Mall lately. They're I think, back. Yeah. So I know that uh, the... Paranormal Circus was this last weekend, and I think that the Bounce House is coming up this upcoming weekend, right? Uh, Does that sound right to you? Don't know. Okay. That's all right. Point is, if you care about tents and or inflatable things and or spooky circuses, go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the meat tent, which I totally called. Mm-hmm. Yes. 20 it, ribeyes for $40. Yes. You had it exactly right. I, I thought that was hilarious. Correct down to the amount. Mm-hmm. Um, are back or they were back or something. That was also last weekend. Yeah, I mm-hmm. didn't um feel like getting any of those. I we'll see. If like you said, they might be really good, like for steak and eggs. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. If you just need some meat and you don't really care too much about the quality, probably great. Yeah. Like if it's going in burritos or something, awesome. If you want like an actual steak, you got to call it Virgin River. But yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right. We'll leave you with yeah. that. That's our show. Uh, thanks for all the love this past week, especially when we were mm-hmm. sitting on our asses doing absolutely yeah. nothing. Thank you. Yeah. The Honestly, comments, the tagging, man, that made us feel really special. Well, and I think we needed it, you know? Have a great week. See you next fall. <laughs> summer, summer, <Kidding>. summer. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs>